Yemeni style mandi. I'll start by making slits on the chicken and then putting it in the marination. The slits make the chicken get marinated more thoroughly and e it will be easier to cook it through. I used tahini, paprika, a little bit of tamarind and one tablespoon of yogurt. Then mix this all together. The tahini has a lot of garlic so I didn't use any extra garlic. I scorched a tomato and put it in boiled water so it's easy to peel. I fried my onions, put in my spices and a bit. I put in a little bit of lemon rind or you can use a full dried lemon. Some tomato puree, and then a pinch of salt. I added one and a half glasses of water to one glass of rice. You can use basmati or my favorite, which is Kenyan pishori. You put the steamer basket, the one for the rice cooker on top, and you put the chicken that we marinated earlier. And you cover it. You then now make, blend the tomato that we boiled with a bit of onion, some chili, and some coriander. This will be the sauce for the mandi. Once the rice cooker is done, you take out the steamed chicken and put it in a tray which will go in the oven. And add a bit of oil on top. And there you have it, roast chicken. It's really crispy and tasty. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click to subscribe.